Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Uh, it's only 10.25 a.m., and uh, but I've, I'm done. I've got to be done for the day because I've got a full plate this afternoon, but I wanted to... So I haven't done my spreadsheet here, but uh, overall $740.50 in the green today. So a dec decent little green day. Let's go over these really quick here. Starting with, uh, well, let me bring this back over. So we've got the ES, took a little loss on a runner in ES, had a really nice uh, pairs trade in gold and silver. You can see the silver side booked 960 with the gold minus 134. So net net uh, $826 winner on that. Uh, actually, a, a couple different pairs trades in gold and silver. So started out. Uh, booked a nice profit on a pair of trade that the pair contracted. I got back in and expanded again for me. So really nice two back-to-back uh, -back pair of trades there. And then uh, in the NASDAQ Dow, took a small one. It was it was up quite a bit more, but uh, you can see the difference here, about a $64 winner uh, in the NASDAQ uh, Dow pair of trade. Took a, tried to get a runner in QG, which is the micro for Natty Gas. Ended up taking a $150 loser there. Uh, Apple booked two little two winners in the mighty 90, uh, total 347. Uh, Boeing, a nice little mighty 90 for 200. Facebook, mighty 90 minus 100. Nike, don't pay attention to that. That's uh, still open. That's not a day trade. Just happens to be in this account. And then Peloton, uh, basically a scratch, and then Roku minus 310. So biggest winner was the gold silver pairs trade. And biggest loser was Roku. So a couple things here real quick on uh, on those. So in the ES, price pushed up to the highs of the day, started consolidating. I was looking for a continuation runner to the upside. And I think this is when Jerome Powell came out and started talking and just kind of flushed me out. So I just bailed uh, when we got that big flush. I mean, it was a quick, it was a flash, flash flush. Uh, so just bailed on that. So just took a small loss there. I mentioned gold and silver, NASDAQ, uh, QG. So, so this is one that I that I'm out of, but I I would still be in this if I could continue trading for the day. So, had this flush down initially, bounced higher, was looking for a rollover. It looks like it still probably will, but I just had to I had to get out, so I cut out and uh, took a small loss there. Uh, in Apple, the trades I took in Apple, two different mighty 90s. So we had this initial push lower. And I caught this bounce here, and then as it bounced higher, I, I got in here for a short and caught a little bit to the downside. So two nice little winners in Apple. In Boeing, a uh, nice little mighty 90 winner here. Had this push up here initially, got short here, and just took a little bit off of this down move right there. Facebook, let's go to Facebook here. So Facebook had this initial push higher into this pivot, broke through the you know the highs uh, right there close to the unchanged mark and i was looking for a little reaction to the downside we started to get it and then it pushed higher so i just closed out the trade scratched it i was going to get back in if it made another big push higher but it didn't it just kind of rolled over so anyway just took a tiny hundred dollar loss in facebook and then peloton piton uh uh, this is another one that I would still be holding for a long runner. It's, it's at all-time highs, kind of consolidating here. But again, I just had to close it out. So it took a $24 loser, basically a scratch. And then lastly, Roku, which is uh, my biggest loser here, had this initial push, was consolidating. I was looking for a continuation higher, and it just kind of flushed me out. So just got out of that one for loss. But all in all, plus $740.50 on the day. Not too shabby for a couple hours' work. Uh, we'll be in the trade room tomorrow, first 90 minutes of the day. Look forward to seeing you then. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.